Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Tuesdays with Terrica. Hey, have you ever thought about mold being in your home? Stay tuned. I have a guest that's going to share some great information that I think you're going to enjoy. Welcome to Tuesdays with Terrica. Hey, I just wanted to let you guys know we're doing things a little bit different. I'm introducing to you Doug Whitehead, who is with Array of Solutions. He is actually going to share some helpful information that I think is going to help you just kind of navigate through some things in your own personal home. He's going to tell you what you need to be looking for and some other helpful information for your residential home. Uh, my name is Douglas. Douglas Raymond Whitehead, and my company is Array of Solutions. And my journey with uh, air quality and remediation started with uh, when I was a contractor. And many times even high dollar houses were suffering from water intrusion. And um, mold is organic and it needs water to grow. And it's unbelievable how quickly our city is growing and people don't give credence to uh, water intrusion. And if there's water in the house, the chances are you're gonna have odd smells, uh, which is the byproduct of the reproduction process of mold. Mold is a four letter word and uh, you don't need it in your home. Why is air quality important? Well, because we think about what we eat, we think about what we are exercise, uh, but oftentimes we don't think about what we're breathing. And oftentimes folks, when they come home, become allergic to their house. So at Array of Solutions, we come in and do an air quality test to see what you're breathing and if that's a contributing factor to you or your family's health. I've worked with uh, Tara Catalbert at Century 21 on several projects. And initially, I'd like to commend her for giving credence to air quality because a lot of people oversee uh, or overlook uh, air quality. And we think about what we eat and uh, our exercise habits, but what we breathe is just as important. And um, Terika has been diligent in uh, respecting air quality. What my background is, uh, I spent years as a residential and commercial contractor, and I found that I was spending more and more time with uh, air quality issues, uh, specifically flood prevention and contributing factors, which are sometimes as simple as gutters, but it all affects the air quality. And if you have water in or around or under your home, you could, uh, you could suffer um, from, from health issues. We cannot address uh, air quality issues unless we deal with an array of issues. So there's a whole network of issues that contribute to air quality. I have helped Terika Talbert grow her business as well as her help me grow mine. Oftentimes I, I could slow down the process of a sale of a home, but a responsible realtor who has an oath will give credence to the air quality. And I've helped uh, Terika on several projects to improve the air quality to make uh, all her transactions safe and healthy. The ideal customer is someone that's having health issues, taking a Z packs or or steroids that the doctor will prescribe, and oftentimes we don't know what's in our home. So it is critical to do an air quality test to see what the contributing factors are to health issues. Why do I enjoy doing what I do? Great question. What gets me out of bed every day is helping people that are having issues that maybe they don't know why they're having. And for me to come in and meet people and go into their home and help, uh, help improve their quality of life uh, gets me out of bed every morning. And I do enjoy uh, decontaminating, identifying, and remediating uh, air quality issues. Uh, I pride myself on that. And my customers, Health and safety is my future. A great, a great story from last week uh, as to how I, I helped a customer was that 
the landlord was being dismissive and I went into their home and it was one of the highest counts I've ever seen. We were able to quantify, uh, take it to a nationally accredited laboratory, local, that determined that uh, they had some of the highest counts of mold. Um, and they're, 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 even their pets were suffering from that, their children as well. And we were able to quantify and identify that and tell the landlord, uh, this needs to be fixed or remediated or we need to, we need to leave. And uh, yeah, they were a young couple and that was, uh, that was a warm fuzzy that made me feel good. The most, the most common uh, um, effects or side effects or signs and symptoms of mold exposure are sinusitis, rhinitis, hay fever, allergy type symptoms and typically respiratory distress. Um, it, can, it can lead into uh, skin uh, lesions, uh, fatigue, brain fog, uh, and many other things that doctors will prescribe a pill for when all it needs to be done is to uh, address the air quality issue. You know, arrayofsolutions.com, uh, I'm one of, I'm the owner. My name is Doug Whitehead, arrayofsolutions.com. Uh, and I work hand in hand with Century 21 and Terika Talbert, and you can reach uh, her through me or vice versa, but ArrayOfSolutions.com, and you will be dealing with me, Doug, Raymond, Array of Solutions, or Terika. So you're not dealing with a salesperson. And please consider, if you're having health issues, having your air quality tested. It, uh, it can have long-term effects if you do not. Hey, I know this week we did a little bit different. I wanted uh, Doug to be able to share with you some of the information about how mold affects your body, how it affects your mind, um, how you're breathing, how you are internally taking in some of the heart heartaches or hardships of something that doesn't belong in your system. So if you need some help, if you're not sure what's going on, if you want to have some testing done, if you're curious about more getting more information, please give Doug a call. We're going to actually attach his information below and I want you to reach out to him so that we can keep everybody healthy and safe. Okay, I want to shout out a couple of guys that has helped me through some very sticky situations just so that I can make sure that I'm giving information to you all. I want to thank uh, Chedrick Cohens for everything that he has done in being able to assist and for Alex, who is our Raha man at church. He has been great. I want to thank him for lending me his time and his services as well. And for those of you who know uh, Tim, who is my normal camera guy, I want you to just keep him in prayer. He, he's just got a few things going on and just we're just asking the Lord to just see him through. OK, hey, you know what? As always, I want you to like, share and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. We want you to be encouraged and empowered so that you can live the best life for you and your family. And where do you get that information from? Tuesdays with Terrica. And I am Terrica Talbert with Century 21 Blackwell and Company. And you know what? I sponsored this episode. Until next week, enjoy. Enjoy.